12:30 starts now. Some police in Burlington say there's a lack of support from city leaders. Thanks for joining us at 5:30. I'm Darren Perrin and I'm Mike Ben David. The police union says the lack of political support directly correlates with the department's struggle to recruit new officers. Channel 3's Cam Smith joins us live in studio. Cam, what can you tell us? I can dare in the Burlington Police Association airing their concerns when it comes to the public perception of law enforcement in the Queen City. In a letter sent to the city council, the association is calling on city leaders to speak up and speak out. We're operating at a loss right now. We're losing more officers than we're gaining, and that is obviously not sustainable. City Councilor Joan Shannon talking about the efforts to rebuild the ranks of the police department, currently operating with about two-thirds of the officers they had five years ago. The Burlington Police Officers Association blames it on the political climate that has existed since the council voted in 2020 to reduce the force by 30 percent. In a two-page letter sent to city councilors, the association says they polled new recruits at the Vermont Police Academy. 17 said they lived in Chittenden County, but when asked if they applied to Burlington... None of them had, which was really concerning, and, and they dug a little bit deeper and asked them why, and the answer was that they didn't feel that they would be supported. The letter states, quote, that the perception of the city, the city council, and the mayor's office is a major deterrent for people who live in the area and want to pursue law enforcement careers to serve their local communities. Since the defund vote in 2020, the council has reversed course on staffing levels, and Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanek notes that the city has made significant investments into the department. It included investing $100,000 in addition to what we already spend on recruitment um, strategies for just the police department. Um, it includes uh, investing in both police and fire and increasing those operational budgets when every other budget in the city was capped and was not allowed to grow and froze positions in order to do so. But so far, those efforts have done little to rebuild the force. In the current academy class, Burlington Police had four recruits. That number is now down to two. Last class, there was only one. And this also comes as Burlington voters consider a proposed charter change that would give the police commission the power to investigate officer misconduct and override the chief's findings. Chief John Murad expressed concern to us that the measure would hurt morale and recruitment efforts even more. You can catch the full interview with the chief this Sunday morning on You Can Quote Me. Ike.